IQ is one of those operators that people don't seem to talk about very often in Siege. She's got good weapons, but a gadget that people seem to rarely acknowledge. She seems to get the short end of the stick in a lot of conversations. But IQ is more powerful than people seem to realize, and with the recent additions to the game being tested on the TTS and coming to all players soon, IQ is shaping up to be one of the best operators to have on your team. And here's why. Her guns are phenomenal. You can either choose her AUG Assault Rifle or her Commando Assault Rifle. But if you're feeling like sending some bullets down the range, then she has her trusty GAA-1. All of these primary weapons are great, and I'm personally a huge fan of the LMG, but I do tend to use the AUG more often than not. Maybe that's just because I have black ice for it. Her secondary is one of my most preferred semi-auto pistols in the game, the P-12. With a 15 round mag, you're able to spam this thing if you have a good enough trigger finger and make quick work of enemies. But her weapons aren't the main focus as to why she's such a great pick. But then what is? Besides either having the choice of a breach charge or grenades, all she has left is her main gadget, the electronics detector. This thing has more use now than ever with the recent changes to the game. I mean, we all know what her little wrist mounted iPhone does, it detects electronics that the defenders put out. But you can detect a ton of things with this gadget. You can see bandits traps, mutes jammers, capcan traps, Jaeger's magpie ADSs, Echo's drones, lesion mines, Ella's gersmot mines, smokes beauties if he leaves them out that long, pulses heartbeat sensor when it's in use, nitro cells, the objective, and cameras, both valkyrie cameras and the ones that are already on the map. And with the recent changes to the game, she can see the diffuser as well as the new bulletproof cameras that are being added. So why does this matter? Well, just take a look at all the trap operators that are currently in the game and that are still in the meta. She can detect all of their gadgets. Yeah, sure, most people know where camera spots are on each map, but when it comes to traps and Valkyrie cams, there is so much that can be hidden to everyone else unless they have a keen eye and are constantly on the lookout. IQ, when in the right hands, can single-handedly take out most of, if not all of the things that she can detect. Or at the very least, she can call them out to her team. So why is this so important? Well, if your team is playing against a lot of trap operators, then she's a must-pick. Between her weapons and the overall usefulness of her gadget, she seems to essentially be getting buffs with every electronic that's added to the game. When Siege first launched, she wasn't used as much, but now with all the various devices that she can detect, I'd be hard pressed to say she shouldn't be used. Have an IQ paired with a hard breacher, a twitch or a thatcher if need be, and you've already taken out a lot of the defenses that the opposing team has put up. Now that's all that's left to do is either get in the objective or slay out the enemy team, and then you got yourself a win. Her versatility is through the roof now, and people should for sure be paying more attention to her. She's also a 3 speed operator, which lets her dip in and out of certain situations if need be. So then, why isn't she talked about or even picked as much? Yeah, maybe there are some better choices on attacking now, there's a lot of operators to choose from, but I still think she's one of the most useful operators on the attacking side. She can detect so many things and basically make an entry to an objective so much easier. Plus, she's thick as fuck, so there's that.